guys, I wanted to show you guys what I eat on the road in a day and kind of how I cook and everything. I just arrived in Montremblant this morning and I haven't had breakfast yet. It's about 10.30 a.m. and I'm starving. So I'm gonna... So I'm gonna show you guys how I transport my food. I'm only doing this part-time. I actually just came up with this idea recently to turn my Prius into a camper. I'm gonna make a video on that as well. But yeah, I'm doing this part-time, so that's gonna, that's why I'm able to do it the way that I'm going to do it, which you'll understand in a minute. So basically from home, I order from a company called Lufa Farms, and they deliver my food in these big boxes, which I also use as a container at the bottom back here for my bed but I'll show you guys that in a different video but inside of that container comes this little oh my gosh it's heavy this little like foil cooler thing okay and in there they have like these ice packs like this that stay cold for a really long time so that's kind of what I'm using and since they drop it off every week at my house it's very um it's a sustainable way for me to do this because every week I have a new cooler bag with ice packs so that's great so that's kind of how I keep my food cold and then today this morning the first thing I want to eat for breakfast is yogurt uh, vegan yogurt of course I get um, a vanilla coconut yogurt which is in here it's so cold and I'm just going to put some berries that I brought some blueberries and raspberries with some granola um, I wish this was vegan but it's not yeah the only thing that's not vegan is like the little chocolate chips but other than that it's vegan and i'm not too picky i prefer the term plant-based so yeah that's what i'm having for breakfast there's a place a garden for the young to laugh and dance and safety among the shimmering light and the shade of the trees steal a bite in paradise lost with dark and hearts we didn't count the cars forgot all we left behind Life picks up speed before you know We hold on for dear life, oh Lord We're too proud to turn back now and One day it all falls down and breaks our heart And it breaks our crown Brings us down where we sit It's gonna be alright Turn around and let me back in Okay, so it's lunchtime, I'm starving, I just finished hiking, and I'm going to be making myself some curried rice. I made it at home, it has a bunch of spices, coconut milk, carrots, broccoli, zucchini, um, tofu, and I'm going to put cashews on it with lime, and some parsley. So I have my stove here, it's butane, and then I can warm up my food. So that's what I'm going to do. That is super, super good. Now, I think that soon I'm gonna have to start heading out of Mont Tremblant and it's gonna be around supper time when I'm driving. So I think I'm just gonna have some mac and cheese like cold that I had already made at home and just eat that while I'm driving. That's what I'm thinking. And yeah, so that's what kind of like what I eat in a day on the road and how I warm it up and how I keep it cold so it doesn't like go bad or just taste weird because it got warmed up when it shouldn't have been from the car. So yeah, that's like a little day. What I eat in a day, in a van, not on a van, on the road. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would like to continue to see these videos about my adventures and not living, but part-timing my life in this Prius, there's lots of mosquitoes here, then feel free to hit the subscribe button below, not only to follow along with my adventures, but to support me because I'm trying to make a life. I'm trying to build a life of this, you know? So yeah, if you guys like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, let me know in the comments, and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.
Well, I'm having trouble sleeping and I'm stuck on the side. Cause I haven't figured out this fate.